Hi everyone, welcome back to M Hub Inside. We're in the shop today with David and we're gonna do a quick project. Um, we're making pins, which you could either put on a hat or a bag or a piece of clothing. We'll give you a closer look in just a bit. Um, but you might remember one of the first videos we posted was about making these keychains. And again, it was a welcome gift to startups that were coming to participate in our accelerator program. And we have a new cohort joining us around medical technology and med tech devices. Uh, so we're, we're doing this again. Cool. Yeah, so today we're just going to go ahead and make some of the blanks for these uh, little pins here. We're going to be doing that with our fiber laser right here. Um, you can see what these things look like. Basically, just a printed on metal disc with a pin on the back. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be running them on the fiber laser and then preparing the surface for printing. All right. So what we have going on here is we've made a file that has a bunch of circles, very complicated circles here, clearly. Um, but basically, we're going to cut this out, and then we're actually going to cut out this, this outer perimeter here so we have something to hold them in later. And we'll see why we're using that in just a little bit. So right now, we're just going to cut over to the laser inside, and you can watch these getting cut out. Last circle. Now we're going to cut the perimeter. All right, now to pick a bunch of these out of the bottom here. All right, now we're gonna take these guys over to our tumbler, which is just around the corner here. So what we're basically doing here is we're just going to tumble them to get that little sharp edge off because we don't want anyone cutting themselves on them. And what we're going to do is we're going to throw them into this bucket full of little ceramic particles and then go ahead and put our lid on here like that. Flip. Right. Turn it on, set the timer. And we'll see you in three hours. Hey guys, welcome back. It's tomorrow and we have just finished tumbling up our parts here and I've just collected them out of our tumbler. Uh, Kim isn't with us today, so you guys are in selfie mode here. Anyways, so now for the reason why I saved that piece of scrap metal that we cut the parts out of. So let me show you real quick. So what we have here is a nice little template that we have that I can go ahead and place these into. Oops, just like that. So I can go ahead and place these parts into the little holes here and I have it clamped to the table. Well, that's gonna allow me to do Throw a few more in here. This is gonna allow me to use this surface finishing tool, which is basically a bunch of sandpaper and Scotch-Brite all on a wheel. So this will allow me to hold that in place while, or hold all those parts in place while I run this tool against them. And that'll give me a real nice surface finish here that will look good once we print on these parts. Now normally you would not wanna do this one-handed, but for the sake of video today, that's what we'll be doing. So you can see that now we have a pretty nice uniform finish here on all of these parts. So we're going to cut for a second and I will bring it back when we are at the UV printer where we'll be putting all of the different, or well, all of the same logo on the part. So we're back here with John. We have our finished um, little tags for our little metal discs for these IoT pins. Uh, we're with John here, our UV printer here. 
So we have this nice little jig that we're gonna go ahead and pop these into. So we made this jig out of acrylic on our laser cutter and they're all in place. So this will help us locate them on this printer so we know that they will print right in the center. So we're gonna go ahead and close that. So let's look at what that file looks like over on the computer here. So we started in Illustrator. We had a regular CMYK uh, design for the pins. Uh, we have a layer that had the cut lines that we used both for running the fiber laser and then uh, for making that acrylic jig that helped us position it accurately in the UV printer. Uh, we'll turn that layer off. In addition to the CMYK uh, colors, we also wanted to create a color plate that will allow us to print several layers of clear gloss over the top of the uh, of the pins and give it a little more custom look. To do that, we made a copy of all the artwork, uh, put it onto a special layer called print gloss, and then applied a swatch that the Roland printer understands uh, is our intention to put down a layer of gloss. We sent this all off as a postscript or a PDF file and brought it into the Roland software, which is called VersaWorks. Um, those files, among many other members' files, are stored here. We opened it up, did some adjusting of the positioning um, for this particular one. Uh, this first file, we specified we wanted to lay down a layer of white first to knock out the sort of in uneven color of the metal and then apply CMYK over that. Uh, for the gloss layer, which was the second file we ran, um, hard to see, but the gloss is indicated in light blue. And for this, we told it that we wanted to lay down three or four layers of the gloss to build up some thickness. Um, yep. Th that so, is called embossing. So let's see if I can get a good, uh, there we go. So you can see that this actually has some depth to the, the text there. It's a little tough to see, but it makes it look a lot nicer. All right. With all those files prepared, you just go ahead and click the print button, making sure that you send the right files in the right order, and the printer takes it from there. So there's our CMYK and white. I'll hop down to our gloss, click print, one copy please. All right, here we go. So we're seeing that white layer go down right now. Now we're seeing a little more color come out here. So that pretty much does it for the making of these pins, minus adhering the actual pin and fastener to the back of the pins. You know, this was our answer to the typical enamel pin you might see. We didn't have a way to handle the enamel in-house, which was an interesting process. So search YouTube videos and see how that process gets done. But we think they turned out great, and we're so excited to welcome the MedTech cohort of our accelerator with this and other goodies. And until next time, thank you for watching. See you soon.